In this video, I'm going to talk about editable grid within Dynamics 365 customer service application. Now, remember this editable grid is not only specific to Dynamics 365 customer service application, but uh, it can be uh, applied for any model driven app as well. Okay, so as you see in the application, I'm in customer service hub application and I'm under services cases. So these are the list of cases which is uh, currently present in my application. Now, what uh, if I want to update a record? Okay, so what I can do, I can go inside the record and uh, I can make those changes. Okay, so if I want to make some change with regards to say origin, I can make the change. I can click on save or maybe save and close, come back to the main site uh, and then again update other things. Okay, now this will be quite a tedious process if you want to update a record at once. Okay, so take for example, if my goal is to make all the priority for this particular screen uh, uh, as uh, say low. Okay, now I have to go to individual record and make those changes. Is there a better way to do that? Okay, now yes, there is a better way. So first what we need to do is like we need to convert this view into an editable grid so that we can edit the record at once. And then once we do that, we can make all those changes at once. So how to do that? Now here, there is something called as a view selector. Now here I can see there are a whole bunch of views which are created. Some set of views which does not have an icon is a public view. And the, uh, if you see this icon against this view, this is your own private view. So you can't do anything with a private view, okay? So if you have a public view, then you can make those changes. Okay. So the first goal is to create a new view. Okay. And uh, understand what your goal is. So take, for example, if your goal is to keep priority and origin, okay, uh, uh, and say case title in that one view, then how do you go about that? So go into the backend, make.powerapps.com, go to the right environment, go to the tables, search for the tables, which uh, in my case, it's case. In your case, it can be something else. So once you are in that particular table, uh, go ahead and click on views. Okay, so here now, in uh, view, I'm in the view screen. So I'll go ahead and create a new view. I call, I'll call it as Girish Edit View. Yeah. Okay, so that's the name of my view. And if I'll, I'll click on create. Now this will, uh, <coughs> this will allow me to create a view. So here, if I want to add more columns, so the case title is one of the column. If I start searching for origin, I'll click here. It will add origin over here. And then priority, I want to add another column. So that's priority and so on and so forth. I can add many columns, but I won't uh, do anything fancy. I'll just click on save and publish. Okay. Now what we have done, we have created this view, get a shared view Jan, uh, and we have published this view. So let's go back here and <clears throat> go to the cases uh, view and do a hard refresh so i did control f5 and let's see whether that view pops up or not now the view which i need was gary shaded view jan so yes that's view is there and i am able to see the three columns which i have selected but this view is not an editable one okay so how to make it editable again go back here there is something called as components. You click on components and you add a component. So component is basically you're adding a control to that particular grid. Now you already have a one control which is rendering the view. Now why don't we add another another control called as editable grid. So if I click on editable grid, then uh, it will ask me to select the table. Okay. So in my case, the table is cases. So let me select case table. So there are various other tables which you can see over here. Uh, I can select the cases table and I'll click on done. Once that is done, you will see that there is a subgrid control and there is an editable grid control over here. I'll click on save. Okay. Uh, again, you can go back to components and see that there is an editable grid. Uh, editable grid, you can edit it. You have seen that this is related to my cases. It has uh, some view attached to it. Uh, now, in my case, this is uh, the one which I created to you, Jan. Okay. 
Now remember, uh, I'll, I'll just I've just selected that. It has gone into edit mode, and I'll click on save and publish. Once that is done, uh, you just do a hard refresh again. Yes, now you can see a different view over here. Now, here, this is called as an editable grid. So what happens when you click on this particular control, then you can edit the content in line, okay? So I'm just typing something, okay? Now here I can say some case, okay? So I'm editing this text control. Here I can change the origin from email to web, from email to Facebook, from phone to uh, twitter okay uh, and also i can change the priority from low to high over here okay so that's how we can do an editable uh, uh, like inline editing for the uh, case entries okay now uh, here again you're going one by one it's a nice interface but what if we want to do something uh, in a bulk okay so take for example if you want to mark all this priority as say low okay now here, first thing you need to see whether it is editable or not, okay? When I say it is editable or not, means you click on this and then here you will see lock, okay? Now why does this lock appear? Because this case is resolved and it has gone into editable, uh, uh, non-editable mode, okay? So you can't edit this control, okay? And if you want to navigate the record, you click on this arrow icon over here and then you can see that this record is in edit mode. So uh, for all this record, which is in uh, non-editable mode, you can't do a bulk update. But yes, for the first five records or six records, yes, I can do. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's do it for five records and make this priority as low. Okay. So how do you do that? You click on five records, click on edit, and a form will pop up. And then here under header, uh, maybe priority, you make it as low. And also what I'll do, I'll make the origin as Facebook. Okay. So I made two change origin Facebook and priority as low. Okay, for this first five record, and I'll click on save. The moment I do that, it will say saving one by five records, and then you achieve your goals. Okay, and if you want to again navigate to the record, if you want to see the record, you click on arrow mark over here, and then you can rec uh, update the record individually as well. Now. Uh, <clears throat> Let me show you other things what happens in this view is like if you want to see this view in a uh, like a regular view fashion then in this three dots if you see here you are in this view mode you click here and you can say show as read only grid so again if you see it as show as read only grid it has gone back into that uh, that old interface okay uh, and then this is non-editable you can't do anything much you just click on the record and then navigate to that record if you want to see the editable grid, just click on three dots, click on show as editable grid, and then you can edit those record in a bulk. Uh, you can even do other things like you can even delete the record, okay? You can delete three records, five records, or maybe 100 records at once, okay? So you can do all those bulk operations. So editable grid opens a lot of options for you guys. Now, there is a uh, group by uh, drop down over here. So if you click on group by, say, origin, okay? So this is a nice way to segregate your content now here if you see uh, the, the, it's all grouped by origin okay so there is email facebook phone and web now there are some cases which does not even have a case origin so it's a nice candidate to edit those things so maybe i'll just click on uh, those records and i'll say edit and maybe uh, unable to edit inactive records so any record which is inactive so take for example i think vvv is inactive so we can't select those rest all i can select so let me select all the things apart from bvv click on edit and then it will allow me to change the origin from blank to maybe web okay i click on save and then again you did the bulk update so this is how you basically use the editable grid in dynamics 365 customer service hub or any model driven application thanks for watching